Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'll talk about building shows offline, or configuring an inventory of devices when there aren't any networked devices connected to your network. One really powerful feature about Wireless Workbench is that it has the ability to add virtual devices, or devices that aren't real, or you're, that are not connected to your computer, but they are virtual. And you can set uh, properties and parameters of those devices ahead of time, so that when you arrive to the venue, you can simply apply those parameters to uh, those sure network devices. Another benefit of the ability to manage virtual devices is that we can take into account systems from third-party manufacturers, which we won't be able to control and connect to over the network, but we will be able to take into account those systems from a frequency coordination perspective. So today, I'll show you how to build a virtual inventory like that. The Add New Device dialog in Wireless Workbench has a list of a bunch of different types of devices, both uh, stuff that Sure has uh, included by default into this database, and also any custom systems that you choose to create. I've actually created some here, you can see with some asterisks and other signs, um, to let users have full customization of the inventories they create. So if I want to build a virtual inventory, the use case for this would be, uh, I'm going to a, um, a gig uh, in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and I'm on the plane on the way there. I know which equipment I'm going to be using uh, for this particular show, but I'm not next to the equipment, so I can't connect wireless workbench to it and start to change parameters. So instead, what I'll do is I will load all of the properties I know are going to be there for those systems, or I know I want to configure for the systems ahead of time. That way I can apply them straight to the gear when I get there. So you can use this manufacturer model band selector to find, I know I'm going to be using uh, UHFRs and the uh, UR4Ds and the G1 band. Um, you can choose the number of channels that are going to be added and the different bands that are going to be there. There's going to be some H4s as well. And when you select add, you'll notice stuff is populating in the inventory view right behind me, which is just to show that all of the devices I'm going to be adding are virtually recalled in this inventory. So I know there's going to be uh, some PSM 1000s as well in the G10 band, just four channels, so I'll add those. And I also want to show you the management of some third-party equipment. So let's go to Sennheiser gear, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some Evolution, uh, the 500 G3s in the B band. So I'll add four channels of those. And even the Sennheiser gear, along with the Sure gear, is all listed in our inventory. So when you're done adding systems, you can take a look and basically view this virtual inventory that you've built. Now you'll notice that even the, the sure capable devices are offline. That's what this gray bar shows here. When they're online, if these were online devices, they'd be green. But this entire inventory is offline or virtual, meaning it's not connected to anything. But that doesn't mean I can't configure things. So I could go through and name uh, channels according to how they're going to be used if I have some particular scheme. Um, I can name the rest of these channels according to um, whatever uh, nomenclature I want to. And, and it isn't just channel names that can be configured here. I can go through and assign frequencies or use the frequency coordination tab to calculate frequencies for all these systems. Uh, and this is particularly valuable and why somebody would want to go through and add third party systems. It's because Wireless Workbench can be your one version of the truth to coordinate frequencies for a variety of different systems, even if they do not include sure network systems. So the magic of all this is I can go through the process of configuring these devices with any amount of detailed configuration, including editing properties in the properties panel of network sure devices that have a lot more specificity. And when all of these changes are made, I can simply save the show file. So I can say green uh, bay pre-show config, in all caps, because that's how I'm feeling today, and save that show file. And now this show file is something that when I get to the venue, I can load up and then use the settings merging uh, of Wireless Workbench to apply these Wireless Workbench saved settings to my online devices. So this is a great way to prep for a show ahead of time by building a virtual inventory of devices offline in Wireless Workbench.